Oh, peek the mic right away. Very nice. Gosh, the soundtrack's always great. I love Monster Seeking Monster. Great. Anyway, three, two, one. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. It is the B and S stream today on this fine twenty eighth of October, twenty twenty four. I hope you're having a wonderful, spooky week and a spooky. Well, not a not a week to come. You only get like four days of spooky because it's the twenty eighth, and uh, Halloween is Thursday. So get your candy ready. Get your trick or treats. Feelings ready because uh, it's coming upon us. And then the moment it's November. Uh, Mariah Carey comes out of a frozen slumber to keep prompting us to, you know, not want a lot for Christmas, but still buy our product. So <laughs> that's all good. Oh no, yeah. Uh, week's been hectic yet again. We all know the drill. And, uh, I would like to take you on a trip. Now, imagine a tiny little, tiny little blender. Me. Two or three or whatever years old. Sitting in front of my parents, uh, old... Um, it's like a Windows 95 machine, but it wasn't particularly strong. It wasn't particularly, you know, powerful. And with the computer, you get a free game. Because that was sort of the selling point for a lot of computers at the time. You'd get a free game. We wouldn't have the game in a box or anything like that. It was just like, oh, you get the game with the, with the, uh, the box. Uh, with the computer. Anyways, um, I would like to showcase this wonderful joy. Uh... We're gonna start dot bat, which uh, there's a bunch of parameters. That's why. Uh, this is the experience I would have had. I am specifically going to start running this game with the terrible clock cycle speed that I remember. So, Mega Race, to uh, put for reference, is uh, ooh, actually as well. Uh, ooh. I think I have the vo I have the volume down. Yes, yeah, sorry, sorry, fellas. The volume was down. You didn't miss anything, but uh, I'm showing the joy of what what I experienced as a kid. A game that had the sluggish but sort of alluring kind of full motion video. I'm gonna skip forward a little bit because otherwise we're gonna be here forever watching slow cutscenes. The allure was then offset by sheer terror because as I'd skip through the cutscenes I'd witness um this guy and there's like this max headroom kind of like glitchy voice and there's uh, like hold on how, how would I put it he does these weird facial expressions and sort of swanky looking and if you sit on it long enough he'll say some really Weird bits of <laughs> with bits of dialogue here and there. They're not meant to look like this, but that's what it looks like when I was a kid. Now remember, I'm like three. I do not know what a human being looks like, and so I see this like flashlight, this like light bulb shaped head of a person, and I'm like, what the heck is going on? If you sit on the car select screen for a while, by the way, you are prompted with, um, ah, uh, what, what I can only say is the game taunting you. Hey, uh, <laughs> I, I really, 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 and hearing this when you're three and seeing this guy sort of like right in front of your face, like full screen right now, put your face right up to the screen and just this guy pops up. This is what terrified me. Anyways, uh, getting into the game itself, uh, just imagine how sluggish it all is. Also, I didn't bind the controls, so I'm not even going to be able to, like, steer anywhere. But imagine, I'm trying to play this game as a three-year-old, and it runs at this speed. For reference, it's meant to run five and a bit times faster than this. Maybe. At least the, the version that ships on Steam is configured to do that. But I would then get very frustrated, because I'm trying to play this game, but I just wouldn't understand it. I'm trying my best, I'm shooting the guy in front of me, and sometimes I'd get to the second or even the third level. I don't have the controls bound, so that's why I'm struggling here. I would get very, very, very upset. And, uh, 
this would this would repeat this was the only game i had for a bit this would repeat again and again i'd have an opportunity to get onto the computer and go oh wow you know wonderful 3d graphics uh th this isn't an emulation issue this is i have set dosbox to 1500 cycles and it is definitely too low for this game but this is like at the time i had a computer that was so slow it ran like this there was nothing you could do to make it better and I'd get frustrated at this, I'd get so angry, and I'd scream, and I'd yell at the game so much. Uh, you know, how could- how- how is the game so uncontrollable? Me as a three-year-old, I have no reference. This is just like, this is what games are, this is what you do, you press a button and eventually thing reacts. Isn't that cool? Uh, but I got so angry, my parents thought, video games are very destructive for this kid, and therefore, uh, I will throw my dad under the bus, but I really don't know if it was my dad or my mum snapped the game in half, and I never played Mega Race again. It, 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 I played it a, a handful of times, but yeah, they got very upset after a while. So anyway, let's go, let's reboot DOSBox and uh, start the game as normal. That was, that's the intro. This is how the game really should run, and we'll sit through the, the cutscenes a bit to try and show off this game in as best a light as possible. Uh, this is a game developed by a studio called Cryo. Cryo stopped existing from like 2006 onwards. So, um, but yeah, no, they've got also the audio is very left aligned. That's not a me thing. That's just the, the game. Yes, this, this is truly the most horrifying experience of my childhood. Uh, other than 3D Dinosaur Adventure, which I'll save for another day. And 3D Dinosaur Adventure, it's very fleeting. But this game was truly brutal, not because of, you know, like, racing game, not because of Lance Boyle being insane, this, like, character on screen, but the combination of that and my pure tantrum resulting in one of my earliest video game experiences being absolutely destroyed in front of my face, uh, for the greater good. My parents eventually went, well, maybe... Maybe he'd prefer something a bit more for kids, a bit easier, and uh, they sat on Pokemon, which uh, that went, you know, you can see how that went. That's right. You better be ready to Mega Race. Mega Race. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, Mega Race, uh, to put it bluntly, is a an interesting piece of technology. It's not exactly the most fun game. It had Bioshock font, yeah, exactly. Hi, I'm Lance Boyle. Oh, I'm Lance Boyle. So, <laughs> so anyway, in motion, this makes a lot more sense, doesn't it? Um, uh, this whole game runs at the wonderful 320 by 200 resolution, um, but the the CD like video, you know, it occupies most of the screen, and you've got a, a decent amount of footage of this guy, even if we're going to witness maybe a bit of a, <laughs> a bit of a reused dialogue throughout the game. Uh, and also, given that it has nothing to do with the actual game, but it also, you know, it all plays via full motion video, as you saw earlier. He does talk for quite a bit before we even get into the game. And he keeps making a point about how virtual reality is better than real reality. But since you're in the future, technically you're playing a game about a guy playing a game. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, why, why am I not actually, like, you know... Defeating gangs. But yeah, there's something so like, so very captivating about like, what is the setting? Because we don't even learn anything about the world. We're sort of hooked straight into Lance Boyle's veins here, and he keeps talking about five. Flying mission speed game. He keeps talking. He keeps saying things about things that exist in his virtual world in the in this like fictional universe. But like, what is the real world right now? What's going on? Is it all Blade Runner? Like, what's happening here? And that's not all our hero has to contend with, I am happy to say. The track features a terrifying selection of symbols, which signify things like speeding up... There's a sort of a tutorial as well while you're at it. Who knows? Who cares? 
You want to know what happens if at the end of the race the enforcer didn't quite overtake as many of these speed punks as he was supposed to? Well, we just stamp chicken on Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this game is basically a, well, the video goes forward and you try to dodge things. You can mildly influence it, but only mildly. And you'll see that it's not even racing at the end of the day. Hi there, tiger. All psyched up. Oh, I really yeah, don't like this. I really don't like what he's what he's saying to me now. Really scaring me. Okay, tough guy. No, what's not? It's a, a ready, ready a workplace violation within ten minutes of the stream. <laughs> but yeah, he's actually giving you like all the decent tips, which is one, you know, slam people into the wall is a decent strat. Um, although, every time you kill a pack leader, and when I say kill, I'm talking virtuality, not reality. Yeah, there's a, there's a few games, there's um, what's it, Toy, yeah, Toy, oh yeah, Toy Story Racer on the Game Boy Color is literally the same thing. Um, I was even gonna say, this game's like a slip heed, um, which, uh, I know that's a shoot 'em up but like the idea of using your full motion video to basically decorate a real game on top of it, um, I guess that's like the, you know, such a, that was like the big thing for full motion video was like, oh, how can we integrate it with the game? And you get things like Sewer Shark and, um, Night Trap's a weird one because they thought Night Trap could have been made much earlier. So despite that being a game that came out in 1994, it was all filmed in 1987 because they thought they could pull it off with like VHS tapes. Uh, turns out that, yeah, not, not quite, not quite cheap to make, but, uh, the technology came eventually. And also which of our fabulous prizes you are going to enjoy. Which of our fabulous prizes you are going to enjoy. Uh So yeah, this is a, a virtual world broadcast. Isn't New Sand the guys who make the skylines? What a futuristic city! There's like four buildings. Well, actually, there's more buildings. There's four of them that are that tall. There's all roads. Oh, what is that clock doing? It's just constantly stuck at 157 something. Anyways, every single, so the, the, yeah, the premise of this game is that every town or every location has a gang, virtually, and your goal is to zoom through the race and take them out, and potentially you can just defeat each pe each person by going ahead of them, if you wanted to. The Vultures. Also, the Golden Gate Bridge is here. I mean, if you're going to say what is a bridge, the Golden Gate Bridge is probably one of the most iconic ones, but... Ooh, what? It's time to select your Mega Rate Machine Enforcer. Look at those beauties. So we're, ahead, help <laughs> so we're almost there. Uh, again, just want to reiterate... Yes, daylight savings is done. For the um, the Americans are going to have daylight savings kick in next week as well, so that'll be um interesting for them. But yeah, if you wait here long enough, just just know you'll have them come up right in your face telling you. Uh, I really hate to interrupt a tough guy, but there's only about a zillion viewers out there waiting to see you in action. So get in gear, baby. Choose a car. Choose a car. <laughs> Burned in my memories, I tell you. Um, we do have, uh, so first of all, you, you need to set your controls. It's as easy as four directions and a fire button. And, uh, you need to start on the hard difficulty. Um, actually, let me just double check that. Yeah, okay, the controls did bind. You need to play on the hard difficulty because if you get to the end of the, of the normal difficulty, you immediately start the hard difficulty and you don't have an actual ending to the game. Which is a bit unfortunate. Uh, there's also this button here. Which lets you see the Hall of Fame. You can see I tried a lot and I played on easy. Uh, Lance Boyle has a decent score in there, but it's not the worst in the world. Um, we have multiple cars here. You can hit escape on each one. Yeah, <laughs> Blendy B, that's it. Um, you can view details about the cars and generally it'll tell you some things. But it doesn't exactly like... Like when it says five rear like wh what does any of this mean there's no audio on any of this by the way it's dead silence um <laughs> but uh, luis 
What are these names? But like, yeah, like, what do any of these weights mean? Laser guns, three, like, no missile. Some of the cars have missiles as their weapon, but you saw there's only five buttons, so... Uh, we're gonna take a variety between the cars. Uh, they all have different dashboards as well. Uh, but yeah, your goal, your goal in the game is to blast a guy who's right in front of you and pick up some, you know, or drive over forward arrows or make you go a bit faster. And, uh, yeah, but your goal is, uh, you see there's a three on the dashboard. You need to take out three people, or four people, because I already took out one before the end of the race. Uh, if it looks like I'm struggling to catch up, that's because I am. You're meant to hit the up arrows, and if you struggle to hit the up arrows, well, you're never going to catch up with them. It gets kind of annoying, like, this hard difficulty is, like, really savage. Come on. Come on. This is gonna go well, isn't it? <laughs> Legit, if I'm struggling with this hard difficulty, I will just play on the easier one. And say, just look up the ending. It's not even, it's barely an ending as well. It's just, he tells you congratulations, shove off, credits roll, game exits. Like, it's it's that kind of ending. Cause yeah, I'm uh, I'm uh, not gonna catch up with this guy. You didn't get the job done. It's returned to reality time. Uh, it's worse than Realms, because at least Realms had an ending. If there was only something I could do. Hey, wait a minute. I've got an idea. <laughs> Let's call the next contestant. He just mugs you and tells you off, and you see that screen, and you're, you know, <laughs> you're forever remembering that this game kicks your butt. I, don't, I, I instinctively keep uh, <laughs> trying to reset the, the controls. Uh, we'll give it another go. I feel like there's certain cars that just are fast enough that you'll have a decent shot at this. But we'll give it a, we'll give it a couple of goes on this difficulty, and if I suck, then yeah, now we'll just drop down. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's it's terrible, and you're having to guess. You're having to guess exactly how far in front of you you hit. So there's a boost right here on the right. That might help. And you ram- like, you can see as well, like, you're drifting constantly. So like, what are you aiming at? It sort of keeps moving all the time. It's a bit odd. You can tell that your weapon is hitting them, at least, but... Yeah, it gets a bit- it gets a bit brutal. Also, sometimes, I feel like the game goes easy on you. Like, I wasn't hitting boosts then, but I was Keep catching up. This level of intensity, tough guy? Or have you given your all in one spectacular race? Viewers, <laughs> if you're watching the repeat, please don't phone in to tell me the answer. I hate it when they ruin the suspense. <laughs> what is- what- what is Lance Boyle? Can we- can we, Come and take a look. I don't even know, so- So sometimes, as well, by the way, the game doesn't fail you. It actually lets you keep going if you were, like, almost there. But sometimes, and I really don't know why. And not like a- oh, because there's a- there is a- A watch! Now asks you the time, you'll be able to answer. How about that? Is that how watches work? Oh, wow. There you go. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, that- So- <laughs> This game has a lot of unexplainable mechanics, one of which is, if you lose, you occasionally get sent to a last chance level. It's a unique level, and it's kind of tough, but it lets you continue on afterwards. And sometimes there's a bonus level. Sometimes. And also sometimes, yeah, you can continue on after losing and you didn't go to the last chance and it just keeps going, and sometimes the game overs. It's... I don't know. It, it's just all over the place. Our fully transparent race tool will protect you race from all the denizens of the deep. What is this accent, by the way, though? What is... what is anything? What's really scary about Lance Boyle? Not only is he, he in, um, both sequels of the game. There was a 97 sequel, which was more of the same. Um... But, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No one knows why. No one knows why any... the game is like this at all. 
Also, uh, there's a 3DO and a Sega CD port of this game, uh, neither of which have retro achievement sets. So uh, if anyone wants to dig through the memory and figure that one out, uh, be my guest. I think the Sega CD version is a bit shocking on the um, the video translation, but uh, the 3DO version is okay. I don't think the sequel didn't get a console port. And the third game came out in 2001, so we could actually have a PS2 version, which was a bit odd. And then he's gonna repeat cutscenes. Now, one saving grace, by the way. Okay, first of all, you unlock a car every single race, but also, uh, you can save every single race. So there's not really a, a huge problem with losing, because you can just give it another go. As long as you save, but nothing stops you from saving, so... Hi, I would like to- I would like to catch up with this guy. Uh, you'll also see that the number of targets in each level goes up. Uh, it will hit seven targets, and then it gets kind of annoying at seven. Yes, it is a track and crash- crash team racing, yes. It's a track and crash nitro card as well. I got the loopy loop bit. I feel like it's also a track and scud race. It's like, underwater, like, like, aquarium tube seems to be a very common trope in 90s racing games, I don't know why. Um, now one thing you're gonna witness, and it's gonna get kind of annoying, is that, uh, it's very easy to run out of ammo. Uh, you'll see sometimes, uh, up arrows where they're, not that, that's points, but, uh, you'll sometimes... I guess we're done. Can you keep up <laughs> okay, but you'll sometimes see up arrows that are not like one long arrow with a head. It's like three heads as it goes. It's very hard to spot, but those ones give you ammo. Oh wow, we've seen this cutscene before. Oh wow, we've seen this cutscene before. But the prize is sometimes different. Covers for your car seats. If I were a contestant, I'd love to win those. I really would. Look at these 3D models. <laughs> You're watching BWBT. That's a shocking, a shocking animation. Anyways, uh, there are, I think there's 14 or 15 levels in the game. Uh, we'll have a good crack at this. We'll see how I go. We're, we're only doing this as a one-off. I don't think there's that much merit in really showing off the whole the whole game, but if I can, I can try. Industrial part. I'd usually get stuck around this level, though. Burning truck tires. All around us are armies of robots making armies of robots making armies. There's one over there. Hey, you! Call him a clank. <laughs> yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> yeah, those guys just love it when you laugh at them. <laughs> wow! Is that corkscrew for real, or is the pilot slumped? Oh my gosh, can you say the word corkscrew with an accent? Well, oh my goodness, jeez. Remind me to fire him. But seriously though, folks, it's thanks to robots that people like you can spend all day watching BWB. This is exactly the world in like a hundred years, give anyways. Them the right to form labor unions. That's all I'm saying. That's that's oh, how that ended. So you ever heard of Factory Land? Big Bob and the Power Tools. At Big Bob and the Power Tools. What, what is anything here? So I believe I believe the guy who was the director on this game, who also was the 3D modeler. I believe he worked on a couple of other not as well received games in the future. He's got some some Moby Games credits, but for some reason he's credited as a producer on Arx Fatalis on the Xbox in particular, which I think is a very interesting one. But uh, but uh, yeah, no, I I don't know what he's doing these days, but definitely this game is certainly driven by its you know its presentation. That's kind of the the biggest reason why it's. I think, there you go, you can see some, uh, some arrows. So the, those, those brown ones are bad, and it gets kind of annoying. Well, they're all bad when they're brown, but... It gets kind of annoying to follow along. I'm, I'm, oh, okay. I guess I'm just gonna tap that space bar, tap it as you go. The MIDI music, by the way, is like, just wonderfully MIDI. It's a 
bit grungy. It doesn't really have a rhyme or a reason. But it's a good, it, it's just a, you know, a groove. I like how after that, like, first attempt, I'm now, I'm now rocking. Yeah, it's, it's a, it's a good groove, but, like... I don't know, it, it doesn't, it doesn't jump out at me. I think it's because you usually hear it a bit, wow, also, wow, we've, we've seen these cutscenes before. Is it gonna be the car seats again? Don't give me car seats. Covers for you. <sighs> You're watching VWBT, a wholly unreal universe. <laughs> yeah, you can you can skip as many cups in as you want. So, uh, listen, if you're terrified by Lance Boyle, you don't have to be. You're with Mega Race, and I'm your host, Lance Boyle. You don't have to be. Oh. Are you ready for a marvel of virtual? Reality? I think this is actually what I was super terrified of. Just him with his face. This is how he introduces the bonus stage, by the way. He is actually half the game, that is true. If you wanted to speedrun this game, you probably could beat it in like 20-something minutes. You're on your own for this one, tough guy. Two laps and the only thing you're hopping here is points. Lots and lots of score. Score. Look out for the special speedway surface markings. Viewers might like to know we've removed the brakes from the Enforcer's car. Yeah, okay. Uh, so this is the special stage. It's not one of the stages you have to do. Um, but, uh, at the music, by the way, it's just like, ah, my ears. Uh, trick is, uh, fang left, just fang on the outside. You're gonna run over some good points and some bad points, but the game just whizzes forward. Touch a wall, the game quits. Uh, touch a opponent car, the game quits. And, uh, you might as well just hug the outside, because that's exactly what they do. I feel like I'm playing pinball, you know? Maybe I should play the pinball game on stream. That'd be like a unique one, wouldn't it? But, uh, yeah. No, you're getting some bonus points on this one. What do points do? I don't know. It looks good at the end. <laughs> but the stage is over so quickly. Like, I didn't even... I didn't touch anyone. I was just waiting around the outside, but... Of course, he only got splatted virtually. But even so, how many times can anybody's neurons take that kind of partying? I got the statistics right here, only I'm not allowed to tell. Oh, okay. Thanks, bro. Anyways. You can't guess where you are at this moment, Enforcer. Uh, what you Detroit. I told you the ideas people here at VWBT came to me one day and said, uh, Lance, what would you say if we told you we just paid good money for a used fractalian whale and we're gonna build a racetrack where it's a vital uh, I, d I didn't guess whale. Well now, Enforcer, my guess is you're starting to feel like you've been swallowed whole. I don't know if this is, uh, this looks like a whale's inside though, but sure. The belly of the beast. They come from the finest families. Rich kids with attitude. That's what the headlines say. <laughs> Who is Lance Boyle in terms of, uh, like, this universe? I don't even know. But, um, yeah, so they were doing a, um, a, a not a GoFundMe as, or something, just like a Kickstarter to try and maybe do a Mega Race reboot in 2016. An actual Lance Boyle presented it. If you try and look up Lance Boyle, like, that's not his real name, but, like, if you try to look it up, like, that is the guy... <laughs> He's still, he's still kicking. He's still doing like this kind of like delivery. It's it's incredible. Greetings, Blob. How's it going? So this is NG Loop because uh, actual level names be done. I would like to catch up. There we go. Again, music is terrifying, but. We sort of gathered that by now. Oh, hi. Hi, drifting. Um, very spooky. It is a spooky game. Um, also, yeah, yeah, you may notice that we're not actually, yeah, racing. We're sort of, you have to take out your opponents. And every time you take one out, the next one is just down the road. He'll show up. Usually the laps are a bit longer though, so I, I don't find it's too much of a concern after a while to like catch up. 
At least these earlier tracks have lots of uh, power-ups though. Well, I'll highlight a very certain track later on that's just like, yeah nah. Yeah nah. And I don't think hard difficulty really does anything other than makes the opponents like a bit harder to catch up to. Only a little bit though. Not like a dramatic amount. <laughs> Keep up this level. Yeah, I got it. Don't give me covers for my car seats again. I really don't. How many times are we gonna win the covers an for the car seats? To spend an evening out with yourself, including restaurant and a romantic movie. All expenses paid by Y O U. Do I hear wedding bells? Wow. BWBT, a holy wow. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. The authorities have been threatening to change. <laughs> wow. The yeah. City for years. But the VWBT's got its gloves on, and we're punching as low as we can go. Our viewers want to experience pity for Who's the... Who's that? Isn't that like a celebrity who's America. actually, like, married to themselves? And it's just like... How does that even... Like, how does one legally get that recognized? That Maybe with enough money. Hell. And that's why we persuaded the city authorities to build this magnificent multi-billion dollar racetrack for our exclusive use, right here in I wonder if this Wasteland. game even cost a million dollars to make. I just want to say that you've got a lot of responsibility <laughs> Let alone multi-billion dollar for the racetrack the in floor, virtual land. You hear me? Terminal City's most degenerate speed gang is called the Scabs. The Scabs. They're very unstable, I'm sorry to say. Between races, we do carefully subject them to permanent sensory deprivation, except for the smell of blood. But it does no good, Enforcer. They insist on eating your kidneys. What? I assured their drooling leader, Rabies, what? that you only want to put him out of his misery. But he just went on barking. Luckily for you, this is virtuality where getting eaten doesn't hurt a bit. Why, 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 why is this on the... Did I sign up for this? Did I sign up to get eaten? No, this is a Vorfury stream. We're not doing this. <laughs> uh, but, uh, the, uh, the Kickstarter was, uh, or whatever, was, uh, the publisher would have been the Zoom platform. The Zoom platform is not related to Zoom the, like, the telco software. Do you like how the arrows go the other way? Like, as in, because I'm, now I'm out of ammo. And this is what you have to awkwardly do when you're out of ammo is either try and walk over any of these strips or do this like ramming technique which is not going to work at all. And you can pick up this double laser. <laughs> I'm going to try my best to somehow recover from this. But, uh, yeah, the Zoom platform is an interesting publisher. I've mentioned them when I was playing Duke Nukem 3D, because, uh, they're the only company who somehow has a perpetual license to sell Duke Nukem 3D Atomic Edition, so even though Randy Pitchford and Gearbox Software have taken down, or publishing, rather, have taken down all the, uh, old versions of Duke Nukem 3D, uh, you can still buy Atomic Edition via the Zoom platform, because they still sell it like that. And, uh... They try to make it loud and proud that they sell DRM3, which is always nice. Uh, but they, um, they republish the, uh, these three games, Mega Race 1, 2, and 3, and, uh, they were in charge of the Kickstarter that was happening. I don't think it ever manifests in anything. Um, what have we got? What have we got going on? A second pair of arms. Now you can eat two hamburgers at the same time. Heck yeah! This is worth it. This is 100% worth it. Oh, here comes the skeleton. Is that how that works? Where's the, where's the other pair of arms going on there? Okay. Um, but yeah, now, I mentioned the Zoom platform because uh, there was an article, and coincidentally, the Zoom platform's Twitter uh, reposted this article. Uh, which is a Games Radar article titled Publishers are absolutely terrified, quote, preserved video games would be used for recreational purposes, end quote. So the US Copyright Office has struck down a major effort for game preservation. That is a... Oh boy, that hurt right on the inside, that, that kind of headline. So we said, it's a virtual structure, right? A virtual structure, right? 
I love the wireframes of the tracks. Well, like, just get the rendering up, software, man. put it in wireframe mode. Oh, look! Caller complaineth continued causing trouble. Well, you'll be glad to know we finally. Why is he looking at the teleprompter down best. there? For a very long time, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> the way he laughs. Um, it's vulture time again, and their feathers are still kind of ruffled. Jamie yeah, there's only so many gangs, and when they're like, oh, every time you defeat a gang, you get their car. Well, we're, we're done at this point. We've done all five gangs, and we're just going through the rounds again. No one gets hurt here on Mega Race. The show that only looks like it hurts. You don't even see people, like, I'm, I'm not expecting, like, proper violence, and this game managed to get the, you know, the all-age rating somehow. Despite a kind of scary guy, like, mugging the camera all the time, but, uh... Here we go, so we got a massive drop on this one. Uh... I, I no, the tracks are different, at least. The tracks are different, but them trying to, like, hype up all the rival gangs, it's like, uh, it's the same guys, which I assume means you get the same car and the same skin. And the music is recycled, I guess. Also, I guess, yeah. <laughs> but it, do it does kind of mean that, like, the game doesn't really go anywhere. You know, you've sort of seen how most of the game works by this point. That was a that was an angle I could aim at apparently, so that's all good. Um, but yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, I think it's it's neat for the pretty visuals and the occasional bit of Lance boil every so often. Can you keep up this level of intensity, tough guy? Tough guy. Have you given your all in oh one gosh. spectacular race? Um, so the more that you, the more that you play this game, or even just watch this game, I think the less scary you get, because you're like, oh, well, Lance Boyle doesn't do anything too weird, right? Hopefully. It's just some weird mugging of the camera, that's all it is at the end of the day. Oh, we got the watch again. Wow. Wow. Oh. There, there he is again. reality. <laughs> There he is again. Yep, we know we know exactly how we're doing. The most boring game. I mean, this serves as a like. How would I put it? It it is a it is a rather like. We'll get into the more aggressive stuff. I was surprised at how like not uh, not at all that rough. I'm actually finding getting on the hard difficulty. I mean, I I know how to play it, but I don't like. I haven't played this game, like, a dramatic amount. I've only played it, like, once when I was, like, well, I, you know, <laughs> struggled to play when I was three, and then I played it again properly. Oh, yeah, this is fast. But I'm really just hugging the walls, so I'm not doing that much. You're meant to get points, but, like, why would you risk it? Why, like, I guess some people probably know. There probably is someone out there who's like, oh, I could do a max points run, but... It is, it is slightly different. And the music sounds like it's having a panic attack. <laughs> and then it's over in like 40 seconds. Behold the enchanting wilderness of Equiland. Nestling in the heart of magic. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean... Yeah, there's only so much variety you get out of a game where you literally go in four directions and you shoot. And especially as well when every map is otherwise the same thing, so... That's why we bring up the article of, uh, game preservation is... Well, sort of struck down a little bit, in some way. It's sort of, it's not striking down, it's more a, a law that's been in place, which in this case is section 1201 of the DMCA, which I've mentioned before, um, basically prevents, uh, the argument is that libraries cannot work in breaking copy protection. A big discussion about it on the task video, so, ooh. Do you know how many games, <laughs> true, there's a lot of shmups there like that, but there's a lot of shmups that have at least one other button. You know what I mean? <laughs> there we got the we got the the aquarium tunnel again. Gotta watch out for the wavies. Wavies all over the place. I 
see other cars catch up better? <laughs> Maybe that's my problem, sticking with the starting car. There are, true, there are crazy games with five buttons. Sonic the Hedgehog is one. Oh, I ran out of ammo all of a sudden. Funny how that happened. Contra, uh, con yeah, Contra's, well, Contra's got two buttons. Metal Slug, I think, has two because you've got, um, does Contra have, sorry, does Metal Slug have swapping weapons? I can't remember if it does. Just bump this fella. But I am gonna struggle. Why can I not shoot? Did you just take all my, like, weapons? It's like, yeah, no, don't need them. Don't need the weapons. Alright, anyway. We're gonna zoom ahead. You'll notice that the guy behind me blows up at some point. At some point. It's not worth it, though. It's... Yeah, there it is. It's rarely worth it. I can't shoot. I'm not too sure. I think I drove over something that prevents me from shooting. Or this is one of the cars with rockets, and therefore it doesn't work like that. I don't know, man. It's very unexplained. It's like, it's like, what level do I go to? What, like, at, why am I not shooting? There's barely any buttons. Load three rockets? Maybe. But like, which, which... Tiles on the ground of rockets. Is it those ones that just went past? The three unlit triangles below the, the two? Ah, uh, yeah, maybe. But then what's with the rest of the ammo? Well, that's a game over. But that's okay, because I save every single, every single level, so we'll give it another go and not use that car. The stream one. And welcome back to Mega Race, the show that makes reality wish it wasn't. Thank you, my man, thank you. Let's take the other one. Does this, does this one have, uh, missiles? Is that how cars work? They just come out of the 3D printer like that? They're all just names of people. Well, it's a missile carrier and has three laser guns, whatever that means. Let's get this full. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, so the article goes on about, uh, yeah, how for um, library preservation in particular, uh, older games that use copy protection um, prevent you from having multiple, I guess, installations of the software this is what requires getting around the, yeah you see that it drops all your energy like driving over that forever and then am i ever going to be able to shoot again no i can't shoot again yeah Researchers need to go to the physical location of libraries instead of being... Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's so stupid. And it's like, you just have to, like, know if there's a, you know, a symbol on the floor that you can run over that can, like, bring it back. Like, oh, it was, like, about here or so. Like, right in the middle or something. Not that. Maybe that. Nope. Maybe. I, yeah, okay, it was that one, but... I didn't re-bring it up again. It's tough to bring your energy back because you're waiting for the specific symbols. Like, those aren't it. There's two on the left. I'm going to clearly drive over both of them. Okay, cool. Now my energy is up a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Don't drive over those. Those lower it again. I think... Also, you can totally get rear-ended and just lose all your health and then die. You can, you can have that happen. That's a bit brutal. Okay, uh, we're going with the, the car above, I guess. Because I had good luck with this one. Actually, this may be another missile one. Let's just try and not drive over the middle, shall we? Like, I'll see it coming, I guess. Um, 
But yeah, game preservation would love to get around the copy protection. And I completely get that. Alright, it's somewhere around here, so don't drive in the middle. Don't drive in the middle. Particularly there. Don't drive over that. Um, copy protection is explicitly protected by uh, the, the US law, the DMCA, uh, section 1201. That specifically says anything that's meant for copy protection, you're legally not allowed to get around it. Like, if you try to get around it, you're breaking the law. Uh, or copyright law in particular. Uh, now, copy protection, I'm, I'm just generally out of ammo right now. <laughs> but, at the very least, there's only two cars left. There's only one car left. Uh, uh, there, it, there it is again. Just, just don't stand over that. Easy. 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 Tough guy, you have won a prize. I love the music like lingers at the end of a uh at the end of a track, yeah. <laughs> researchers will probably just do stuff like Yeah, I, a lot of lots of researchers will just be like, hey, you know, no harm, no foul if you don't mention it, because uh, they're doing it for for research. And I get that. Throughout history. Um, but yeah, it's such an annoying, like, section of the law, because the copy protection is not, like, the copy protection prevents you from witnessing the artwork, the, the piece of material behind it. And I kind of, like, I do get why copy protection exists. I hate that it itself is, like, so ingrained in the copyright law that its mere presence makes the associated content unaccessible, inaccessible. You cannot touch that. Um, generally, and what is it? They make the case that 87% of all video games released in the US before 2010 are now out of print. Uh, the only legal way to access those games is through the occasionally exorbitant prices and often failing hardware that defines the retro gaming market. Um, but yeah, the, the US Copyright Office has said no. The register concludes that proponents did not show that removing the single user limitation for preserved computer programs or permitting off premises access to video games are likely to be non infringing, which by law I, I get. Uh, she also notes the greater risk of market harm with removing the video game exemptions it's premises limitation, you. giving the market for legacy video games. Now this part, that part, screams out to me as ding ding ding, red flag. Not because, like, this argument is, is wrong, but the copyright, like, its main purpose is to protect the market. Particle, this level, by the way, is gonna kick my butt because the, the lap is so short. And they go so fast in front of you. And you also run out of ammo very easily. So there's... Oh, so I believe there's ammo in the, on the right there, but I missed it. So just, and then there's more ammo on the left. Is there more ammo on the left? We've already hit the lap, by the way. <laughs> I don't know where the more ammo was. Oh boy. Um, yeah, the... Like... I get the law in terms of, like, why it was written, but, like, it's annoying for video games because copy protection- Oh, by the way, there's a wavy- there's a wavy, uh, kind of power down. I think I've got plenty of ammo, so I just need to keep holding forward and catch up to two more fellas. This track is relatively straightforward, but it is short, so you do, like, it does creep up on you. Wow, that was a bit easier than I expected. Tough guy, you okay, sure. Prize, and believe me, you're going to love it, whether you like it or not. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, like saying that it's a risk to the market should be a clear sign that hold on. Fully qualified dolphin, are you telling me that people wide, also feel a thing? This unique gift is offered by the makers of bigger plastic crocodiles. They're plastic, and they're like crocodiles, only bigger. <sighs> what? The, what? What the heck? Dude, I don't even know what it, like, what are all these prizes, I tell ya. I wonder if someone has, like, an old cutscene like, dump of this game. Remember, you saw it first on I, I can't even explain. 
Um, Here at BWBT, we love to be discussed. But you won't show, you you won't show any gore. Again, we'll visit the real world. Yuck. Yeah, companies lamenting they might be losing money, which, like, the case of the video games that are out of print should be a big sign of going, hey, when a video game is out of print, you know, usually it's not, you know, like, where is the sale going? There is no sale. There is obviously harm to the market in the sense of, well, if people are playing older games that are out of print, will they, you know not be buying newer games. I would personally say that everyone I know, Big Bob and the Power Tools, is this the same cutscene as before? I think it is actually. Big Bob's eyes are getting very close oh my together. Gosh. Yeah, uh, yeah, true. If a company wants to re-release Croc and the Legend of the Gobbos down the line, then, you know, like, that's their prerogative. But what I mean is that, like, how come movies are generally protected? Like, you should be able to get a copy of a movie, and then your copy lasts in perpetuity. But a piece of software, a video game, or really, what's well, you know, we, ha we should be saying any piece of software is never held to the same standard and therefore there's so much software out there that's been revoked that relies on external service that relies on you know so much other stuff and it's you know nigh impossible to, to really witness some of these games there are important pieces of history uh, well to be fair most of the important pieces of history are well maintained for that very reason people people remember the stuff that gets maintained people remember what world of warcraft is because they still run servers but people uh, um a movie is also people yeah true true movies are leaning towards that piece of software definition as well to get it as a service now whoops you can barely even see where the where the bonuses are we're out of ammo I, I got one shot off. Cool. But did I not drive over another one? Okay. Okay. Next game. We'll do every art form the discussion react or resets. Yeah, exactly. People didn't think movies were worth preserving, but that is true as well, yeah. We we've got a remarkable amount of music that's archived, but I'd probably say music is one of the like more original ones in terms of like, you'd, well, eh, no, probably, I mean, probably literature is the same boat. And perhaps there is a lot of lost literature out there. We got there. We got there in the end. We got there. Um... <laughs> But yeah, there's probably a lot, lots of lost literature out there. But yeah, it's it's so strange that like fabulous trip to the Seychelles. It was close, but we got there. The islands or something. Aloha, baby, me Lance. Seychelles, Chan, you are back. <laughs> you sail past and the trees just pop up. There you go. That's the Seychelles. There's not even a gag with that one. That's just literally going to the Seychelles. Other than maybe the Seychelles is flooded. Whoops. You're with Mega Race, and I'm your host, Lance Boyle. Remember, you saw it first on BWBT. I wonder if, like, there's, there should have been ad break. Oh, here we go again. Here we go again. Reality. He loves giving me the bonus levels. Yeah, we get it. We get it. I know what a bonus level looks like, I think. Sure. Um, but yeah, like... Ah, oh, the... One thing I said on task videos is that while preservation has always been there, uh, it's usually applied to one known civilization works. True, yes. Yes. We live in a, a, a curious position where, like, video games are definitely recognized at an international level, but I'm not sure if the, uh, you know, the national level is there. Literature was treated like a resource for crops. Ah, okay. Music's definitely one where, like, you know, there's national archives, national registries of that, but software... Software... Uh, hasn't really ever had that kind of preservation. It's usually been, like, external groups really maintaining software. Oh, 
or I sound very, very uh, ignorant because I really don't know. But I don't know of any. Whereas, like, I can point to like national film registers and things like that. You like driving around in the look the tracks in in space. Well, your dream comes true. We're high over Terminal City on a scientifically acclaimed miracle of TV technology. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Global it's not like the principal's always been there. It's a racetrack in a garden of eternal slumber for defunct spaceships that other slumber gardens won't handle. A fitting stage for your own demise, huh, Enforcer? There's a lot of Think of the ancient Greek and Roman theater, most of which are, yeah, true, yeah. Although, somewhat as well, like... Terminal City's most degenerate speed gang is called the Scab. Oh, he's going to give me that scabs, scabs explanation again. Thank you, my man. Um, but yeah, yeah. I feel like some of that is sometimes like, you know, a civilization gets conquered and then it's like, how much do the new, like, civilization really care about the old, the scabs. That's, that's them. Oh, oh, okay. We're nearly losing all the energy. Oh my goodness. Wow. It's not a nearly anymore, it's, it's all gone, and then it was all still gone. I would like to shoot, thank you game. Just how how many like down, down ammo like pickups are there? Oh my gosh, jeez. Um, yeah, I don't know, it's, it's frustrating. gonna get so caught out of this one because that's a whole lap right there and uh, I still don't have the ability to shoot because I think it's the missile thing going on. There's no like secondary button by the way, I'm mashing like every other key. I know there's a pause button. You hit P, it does that. But I'm not gonna have enough health or time to really like hit everyone. In the end of the Seiju Sultanate also lose a ton of history when you pull it from Mongols or something burn down the city. Maybe. But yeah, I, I think it's bound to happen a lot to different different civilizations and it's a bit of a shame. <laughs> or it's a lot of a shame. Because um, now we live in an, an age where like, you know, archiving text and resources seems like a very, you know, like regular thing. Like, you know, it's part of our culture. I don't really have too much to say other than, like, Section 1201, like, neat... Section 1201 for US copyright, at the very least, and I'm saying this is not an American, so... Grain of salt, but, like, I look at that and I go, that's such a silly law. A silly, like, part of the law. And I think a lot of people criticize DMCA for other things, but Section 1201 legit is just, like, the one that gets to me the most. I'm just gonna hit the wall a bunch and... I'm gonna die now. <laughs> there I go. And so the struggle for law and order on our freeways claims another victim. Now you saw it live right here on Mega Race, where death is a short horizontal line on the monitor screen of life. Wow, bro. Ah, oh. ah. Oh. We can finally have a real name in there because hard gives you way more points than than easy. And then I'm gonna reload my save, and my points will still be there. So. But we're gonna have to choose a different car. I like this one on the bottom. It doesn't- oh. Does it have missiles? Everything has missiles, I don't know. Yeah, this thing's like impossible to work with, jeez. Um... But yeah, no, it's 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 frustrating, and the response of the market pushback definitely gets to me because it's just like, oh my gosh, like that's the whole point. Like, new, not saying that new video games suck, but there's a lot of real crummy new video games, and I think some people have just accepted that. Oh, I think this is actually where the where my difficulty filter is going to be. I keep running over something that prevents me from ever shooting again, and I really have no idea what to be, like, do about that. There's no, like, combinations of buttons. 
I don't know. I really don't know what, like, allows you to shoot. The struggle video- oh, yeah. It's- it's such a horrendous struggle as well. A ramming cut- like, you can ram, but it's kind of tricky to get it working the whole time. And you've got a health bar, which, like, you know, it drops a bit too much to try and ram everyone. Every artist had, uh, yeah, well, there you go, there I go. Uh, <laughs> oh, look, I'm gonna keep putting my name on this leaderboard while we keep reattempting things again and again. And it's not even like, you, you know, you bring anything from one level to the next, it's like... This one's got missiles in the bottom left. things that prevent me from shooting ever again, by the way. On both the left and the right. Oh my gosh, I can barely even see them. Just to, like, come over that hill. But, like, there's gotta be some way to get around that, because preventing you from shooting for the rest of the race just feels brutal. It's got the letter G there. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Jeez. Okay. Hold on, let's, let's get a Mega Race manual. There's also, I think, Sega Retro has a, um, yeah, it has a page on Mega Race for the Sega CD, but in particular it's got a nice description of everything. Yeah, there's a power-up that says, strips the car of all weapons. Am I wandering over that? Is that what's happening? Oh no. Uh, manual, manual, manual. No weapon. Downgrade the number of cars if your car has them. That's probably it. That's the symbol. But then there's... Oh! So you gotta drive over the three vertical lines and that gives you a weapon back. But oh my gosh, that's just... That's just pain because I'm apparently not running over anything that, like, would give me more gun. We'll just keep having cracks at this. We'll see how we go. Do it. We'll get there eventually. Maybe, maybe not with that attitude, apparently. With me losing all my weapons day one, so... so you saw that, right, just then? It was like, on the close left, close right side, and then it was on the far left. And there may have been more up there, and I don't know if I hit any. They will understand all this UI, I tell ya. Oh, no, I've still got my weapons, it's just I barely have any. Oh, oh, oh. I have just been wedged in another car and uh, that happened. Well, <laughs> nearly displacing all the leaderboards again. Okay, okay, I've got more of an idea. I've got more of an idea. We'll get there. We'll get there. Gosh, that's so cool. Yeah, that's... I, I cannot explain this. This is just very mean. Because now I have no ammo. At the moment, I could maybe get some from somewhere. I'm already dead. I'm already dead. How did that... I'm- I'm dying even quicker every time. What is going on? Oh no. Oh no. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. That is a starting car. Maybe that's my- my catch. <laughs> this thing looks like it could definitely take him on. How are you meant to dodge all of these, by the way? Oh. Uh, no, no, that- 
That one just gets rid of your UI, by the way. That's not a, that's not a bad one. Or it is a bad one, but it's not a dramatically bad one. This is, it, it is a get good, I guess, yeah. I want to say the different difficulties actually do change the power-up locations, but I don't know, it doesn't feel like it's wildly different. I don't know how me and Testing managed to like get through this like no sweat, though, I'll tell you. No, 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 I want to sneak up. Ah, oh, just let me, let me catch up. Let me catch up, bro. Let me shake your hand. I want to get there. You can barely see these power ups. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <sighs> we'll keep we'll keep trying, we'll keep getting there. And welcome back for reference, to Mega Raid, what the race show that on? makes reality wish it wasn't. This is the fifth last track of the game. Like we're not we're we're like Mentally stuck, but we're not like that far away from the actual end of the game So we might as well just try and stick with it All right, then there's bad ones all over There's that try and dodge it Stuff it, I'm in the middle now. I'm gonna probably ram, yeah, ram that guy a little bit. Okay, sure. We're gonna now just work our way around the around the lap until we basically get up to that same point again, because that seems to be where all the power-ups are. Control points. It's like a little bit on the left there. Okay, mental mode. Okay, we got a little bit there. If I can somehow avoid, like, okay, I've hit, it, I've hit him a little bit, but now I'm just out of ammo anyway, so that's okay. So now I shall lean left. There we go, we're okay. Three guys to go, three guys to go. Maybe I got this. Okay, well, I'm just out of ammo again, okay, sure, it's fine. Okay, no, no, I've got this, I've got this. Alright, it was somewhere on the left, somewhere on the left, maybe above this hill. Maybe. After the ticker tape. Yes. Ooh. Maybe we'll just zoom past him. I still have no ammo, so this isn't really getting anywhere too far, but sure. Second last guy. Last guy, okay. Lean left. Hi, did you see did you see any of that power up pick up? Alright, we're just gonna have to go fast then. We're just gonna have to go fast. It gets very tricky to overtake the last guy though. It's always very annoying to overtake. Or actually, you know what? Off the top of my head, this may be one of oh never mind. Never mind, I blew up. I was gonna say this may have been we're closer, we're closer, we're getting there, we're getting there. But that may have been one of the levels where the game decided to just give me the freebie on my practice, and now I'm like, ah, oh, what am I doing? What, what is going on? So, uh, but yeah, uh, what else happened in the world? Uh, we had, a uh, new Intel CPUs come out, um, which, uh, barely interesting to talk about, but sort of intriguing, I guess, in terms of, like, process and market. <laughs> yeah, the drunk, the drunk button, yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, so, new Intel processors, the, 
285k, 265k, and 245k. That's your i9, i7. The Garfield Moss level thing hasn't been dumped and shared in the world yet. Not yet. Soon. Soon the world shall know more Garfield. I'm gonna drive in the center here because I seem to just keep like failing to hit any of these like power ups. That's where all my struggles are, is that I can never get, like, that extra kill. The Linux kill removed a bunch- Oh, true, yeah, that happened. Yeah. Dude, my- my Fetty timeline was going on about that, basically going, I don't know if I can trust, uh, Linux anymore. Cause it's like, oh, it's just paid by, like, the US. Uh, I have no idea if that's actually true, although... I know Linus Torvalds has joked about that, like, potentially happening. I think that's usually, you know, when you make a, a very, very important piece of software, I think it's naturally gonna, you know, allure those unscrupulous actors, but... The reason is because those people either directly own or work for a company that is sanctioned. Yeah, I, like, I get that, but... Yeah, no, it kind of sucks either way. It's just like, do you trust them anyways, or...? Alright, we'll just overtake this guy, and then, uh... We'll see what fate, pro you know, proceeds to give me. End of race. No, no, they're gonna game over me anyways. Well, we'll keep trying, we'll keep trying. It's all Putin's fault. If they hadn't got rid of them, the Linux kernel would be... had violate. That is true, yeah. That's, yeah, that's why, like... Oh, yeah, 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 like, the precedent of, like, people who work for your team, you know, like, you must fire them or else, like... I really... I don't have a lot of thoughts other than, like, the obvious of just, like, I don't know what's the best, like, you know, what is the best outcome, because I could probably imagine, like, an actual, like, you know, bad outcome happen. With a proper state actor actually infiltrating a project. It's mildly happened. Um, the XZ vulnerability uh, at the beginning of the year was um, very rumored to be like a state actor driven. But it's like, man, that was like subtle, wasn't it? That one. People already complained the US has been too light on Russia and Israel as it is. Yeah. I. I. I mean. That, that opinion I had on, like, how software feels very global, it's like, this is, this is where it runs into friction when the individual countries basically go, like, you can only collaborate with, like, you know, this nationality or this nationality, and if this was lots of other kinds of things, I would partially get that, but, yeah, when it's software, it's like, these are, these are like, the only people who know how Linux works, you gotta retrain new people to, you know, get more work on Linux, it's like, oh. That's, that's just a bit of added work. Russia is a dictatorship, so the censorship there is insane. I know, yeah, I know that there's a, a crazy censorship happening in lots of other countries. To be fair as well, like, I don't even think the US is... Like, a lot of those countries, I feel like, could make the case of, well, there is still censorship going on in, you know, like... Western countries, and that is true, that does happen somewhat. Not like, not to the same extent, but there's always censorship everywhere. I guess that's why you gotta like pull it out and, yeah. Hold on, if I zoom ahead, I may be able to get this thing. Maybe. It's the one guy, it's the one guy who's left. Just let me like, go for it, please. I'm ahead of him. Okay, just like game. Consider me in front of him, please. You see what I mean? It's not really a race, is it? It's really not a race. It's not the Russians' fault. The government. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a there's a lot of lot of geopolitics in it all. So 
what I what I hopefully want is just you know like I want for world peace, but which is very lofty. But you know what I mean, where it's like. to say about that kind of stuff. I got made to a Russian and I got made to a like Ukrainian and it's just like it gets very heated and I'm like oh, I don't really want to like I'm a bit eggshells when it comes to that. I really don't know what to what to really feel or say about it. Other than it like it sucks as the scenario, I guess that's it. But that's a that's a conflicts like that. You know, who who wins in discussions, who wins in, like, the conflict, it's like, I don't really feel like anyone, you know, inevitably is the winner. You know what I mean? Should be controversial. Be oh, no, I'm, I'm against dictatorships. But usually, usually when it, when it's like, countries... Sorry, like, like, there's, there's dictatorial things in all countries, and saying you're against, like, dictatorship sort of implies that, like, you know, there's, a, there's an acceptable amount of it, and it's like, I don't know if any of it's really acceptable. But then also, like, a part of me is like, you know, ah, uh, like, what is this? Uh, this is gonna sound very, very, uh, very, like, randomly hot take out of nowhere, but it's like, there are some things where I'm like, man, it's very easy to convince an otherwise democratic population into, like, believing very detrimental things, uh, and so it's like, well, you know, you can make cases for lots of stuff. I, I, I'm not good at being a world leader, so I legit cannot, like, tell you what's a good, like, political stance or anything, really. Like, just, just elect me World Emperor, and then I'll, like, I'll handle it. First try. First try. We did it. We got up. We got there. All I had to do was just talk about how I could become leader of the world, and we got there. <laughs> oh, no. Exactly. Exactly. An invitation to spend an evening out with yourself. Oh, wow. I get to... I get to have a <laughs> dinner with the dictator. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, Are you looking for the perfect family vacation? Well, yeah, usually. How about this? The Blue Lagoon Fun World, nestling in the heart of magical Mava. That's right, it's you another underwater level. You'll never wash off. You'll be taken care of in style by a fully trained staff of obsequious dolphins. Obsequious? They what? just love being servants. VWBT's twenty billion dollar Blue Lagoon. Twenty billion is an added attraction you won't want to miss. It's like Big Blue, you know. Let's sit back and watch the Enforcer deal mega race justice to a group of punks with no respect for civilized standards. Magical Maver didn't have any vicious speed gangs, so we spent quite a lot of money and got one. The place sure hasn't been the same since these boys cruised in. We call them the Sharks. And I think you'll find them pretty snappy, if you'll pardon their quite amusing joke. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, these people came up with the name Hammerhead for the pack leader. He still hasn't decided if he's going to nail you to the sidewall or bite your legs off. Why is it that every single gang is it's just into Vor? Is that Lance Boyle's, like... Is that his thing? Lance, if you ever watch this, please tell me, is, like, why does everyone eat people? <laughs> I, I, I love how he randomly does watch a lot of, like, Mega Race content still. Well, at least we got more bits where there's ammo. And there's a way in. But you gotta watch out for the wavies. This one's as bad, though. It's a bit easier to see what you're going for, I guess. But, uh, but yeah. No, I, I want to mention the Intel processors because, uh, they're, they're 
regressive in gaming performance. That should be the big, you know, headline. And in fact, a lot of com a lot of uh, publications have already made up the headline of like, please do not buy these. These are terrible. Don't don't buy them. Are they all over terrible? The answer is no. Actually, there's quite a bunch of productivity things where they do get 10% or so better performance, and sometimes they can do it at a lower. Yeah, they can do it at a lower um, power, which is great. So. Uh, code compilation in particular, um, NGINX, uh, was really good for lightly thread- lots of lightly threaded things. But for gaming, gaming is not- is the- is the Dolphin Dennis again. Oh boy. Um, but yeah, the biggest, like, architectural change is that Intel has actually moved to the chiplet design strategy similar to what AMD did for Ryzen when that first came out. And there was a lot of teething issues for Ryzen when that first came out because the memory latency was really high. High. Games rely on that memory latency. That's that's a, such a big thing for really anything in games. Um, so graphics cards with faster video memory are generally much better for games than lots of other use cases. Um, this track is cool though. This is one that a lot of people remember. Apparently, we built this baby right here in Factory Land because we felt it was right for the community. We even named it the Big Zero as a tribute to our viewers. Robots like to come and see it before they die. Oh. This could be where the Enforcer dies. Not really, I know that, but even so, I mean, imagine the trauma. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? Who's gonna make you so you uh, the factory land? Is it Big Bob and the Power Tool? Big Bob and the Power Tool. Oh, no, I'm not gonna witness that again. Um, <laughs> uh... But yeah, no, it, it is a little bit worse for the games uh, because of that memory latency, and it is quite gnarly. Um, but is it? it's not bad everywhere. And I think there's probably going to be some people... Big the cat instead of Big the bob. True. Uh, so this is, this is um, F0X's silence track. This is literally that. I kind of like the... Oh, it's got some buttons that reverse your controls. Which is uh, good fun. Not the end of the world, though. But it's a lot easier to like tell what you're up against, you know, like layout-wise, because it's just like, oh, it's right in front of you, and you can see it coming a mile away because it, you know, it's up an incline. I wonder what like what was the the inspiration for like cars going up like you know insane like vertical tracks and things like that. Because this game's definitely an early proponent of it. F-Zero didn't exist, Wipeout didn't exist. Um, what's some other ones? But this band, I don't feel like this is the first one, is it not? I would like to just comment that, like, the 3D is quite curious, because, like, if I stop, the track stops rotating here. It's really not that hard, though. What's the prize? A genuine Scottish accent tested by a qualified Scotsman. This unique prize is brought to you by the makers of Light the Bonfire, the foolproof witch test. If they don't die, those babes are guilty as hell. What? Uh, oh no! Uh. <laughs> that is the best one. We did it, laddies! We won the Scottish accent! <laughs> this is Megary. Oh, I did it. Yes, we, we go. He's back. He is back. There he is. You know that that 100% is going to be a stream thumbnail as well. <laughs> yeah, we got another Skyhold level. Um, what was the secret to no longer being stuck? Perseverance. Actual perseverance. I don't think there was any strategy. Um, definitely just try to like try to get as many of the cars as possible so just minimize standing on the 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 you know the damage downs determination perspiration vindication yeah and, and then all the other tracks have sort of just been like very straightforward so far <laughs> because they haven't had as dense a you know like a power up removal kind of uh, layout. I don't, know, I don't know how to put it, but... I 
it's strange, man, you know? They didn't playtest Mega Race, the difficulty's all over the place. I know the last track's decently tough, but I don't know if it's that tough. Maybe we'll actually get credits. We'll actually be able to show the end of Mega Race on stream. Healthy dose of BLJ, exactly. There he goes. <laughs> no, you're not dreaming. It's the Golden Gate Bridge again. Dawn drive along the romantic Golden Gate. Oh snap! It is the Golden Gate Bridge. WBT special tribute to old sand. The way it used to be in times past, before it became the new sand of today. The glories of yesterday. Dude, imagine calling it Old York, Old South Wales. Don't you wish you had the internal organs? Of internal your organs of your youth. Now you can. Thanks to our exciting instant cloning system. The young, the healthy, and the you. Ye old York. What is this? What is this bumper spot? Here in New Sand. Oh, he's... Okay, sure. It's, it's the New Sand people. So we're nearly at the end of the game, but yeah, no, I I wanted to highlight this game mostly as a... It's a it, it is a proper nostalgia game. And I think that's where most of the charm really lies, is kind of enjoying just visuals like this because some people are uh, uh I stood on it I stood on the thing no more gun that I think that was the symbol by the way but yeah this very very enjoyable game yeah I I don't know it it's okay to play but you can sort of, I don't know, it plays like a movie, classic, you know, FMV video games be like. But yeah, no, it, it, it plays like a movie and it's honestly like, yeah, you can just watch someone play it and you get a good gist. That being said though, I would love to still recommend this game. It is actually on sale, you can buy it thanks Zoom Platform. Uh, they sell it on Steam and GOG and their own platform as well, so that's all good. Is it the most fun and enjoyable? Mm, but it's curious that, you know, you can actually get it and play it. Oh, they got a control reverse right there. That's mean. That is mean. Yeah, if you're a kid... Well, actually, if you're a kid, I think you'd get terrified by Lance Boyle. And to that, I would then say, so who's the market then? Especially, I mean, these days. Definitely, I don't know. Yeah, the, yeah, Mega Race 1 and 2 and 3 are all available on Steam. I think 1 and 2 are sold together. Uh, did you like how I didn't get anywhere near the target? And yet... Remember, you saw it first on VWBT. Fact is, you're starting to smell like a loser, baby. Ah. Say goodbye to your friends. Now it seems you did just about enough to win yourself a ride on our last chance. Hey, here we go. So <laughs> I was wondering when I'd get an opportunity to do the last chance. Enforcer, this could be where you get flushed away. So the last chance speedway. Let's actually do a save here. Uh, last chan, I guess. Finally, we see it. It's got it's got that music. It's uh, it's not the most like engaging kind of track visually, because it kind of just keeps going around. And it is still just another circuit where you destroy seven people. So it's not like the other one where it's like there's a proper difference in how you play it. <laughs> the last Chan, exactly. Oh my gosh, wow. Did... You, you like that, by the way? Did you, did you like what they did there? They they forcefully take away your power-ups. And then immediately afterwards has the one, like, bit you need to stand on. This, yeah, this music, I don't know, man. Some people may be nostalgic for this, uh... It sounds like it's dying. I don't know. Uh, it did have a manual, yes. I didn't have a manual as a kid. That's the, that's one part that kind of hurts. 
it's probably not too hard to like eventually figure out, but yeah, like look at this. It's like you just have to. Well, no, I've, I've lost, I've lost my power up again. I'll get it back somewhere or somewhere around here. It's very tough in the full motion video games as well because like they really do need to spell it out for you. Last guy, so. Oops. No more ammo. Come on, come on. What are we gonna get? There you go. Tough guy, you help. We did it. We apparently saved, saved the run. Uh, second pair. And we got the second pair of arms. You know what that means? That's the thing. When you fail and you go to the last chance, you just get to continue on. Truly, Fractalian space has nothing more delightful to offer the jaded eye than this vision of unspoiled loveliness. You don't have to actually succeed the level. It's such a... I don't... I cannot explain. I cannot explain how the game is structured like this. No wildlife as such in the region. However, selected groups of financially inadequate persons are regularly released to live wild within the confines of the Paradise Valley Park. When their numbers have reached targeted levels of sustainability, world political and religious leaders will be invited to come here for their regular hunting weekends. I didn't even... Now, King Kool Kool yeah, that probably King was, and I, I did get into the last chance, like, twice. In the mirror, and he can't let that go unpunished. But yeah, there was also, there was one level I did on the easy difficulty, and he literally just said, Ooh, you barely made it out of that one, and he didn't even go to the last chance, he just continued. It reminds me of a neat game, Castle Siege, played the campaign in that game, never understood how it worked. Oh yeah, I, I think, what's it, Star Fox 64 is a classic, where it's like, there's lots of failure states that just keep you going throughout the game. You don't actually have to succeed in too many of the, um, what's it called, Chan Chan, sorry about that. You don't actually have to succeed too much, you could just click next mission. Yeah, there's a few games that are like that. It's just like, uh, whatever, like <laughs> just, just continue on. Uh, this level is going to be mean. I'm not going to say it, it's exactly easy, but it's definitely clearer. Again, what I'm shooting at, uh, although I can't shoot. Oh my gosh, he's just gone. I can't shoot again, by the way. And I can barely steer while I'm at it. Jeez, this is the final boss, yes. Okay, I feel like on the easier difficulty, there were not this many power-up removing icons. Maybe that's... Maybe that's the, the true challenge. But the lap is so long. Like, that's what, that's what really gets me here. It's like, well, it's not that bad at the end of the day. Like, we're still on the first lap. And I've barely been able to shoot the whole time. It's possible. That's a whole lap. No, okay, no, we can shoot again. Okay. Oh, we're good. Oh, I, I can shoot again if I had ammo and I missed that one, so. Or maybe I can't shoot again. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Um, have you noticed as well there's a thrillometer in the bottom right? What does it mean? No, I no, can't shoot. <laughs> can't shoot, we are shootless. What does the thrillometer mean? Be able to shoot, man. I just want to be able to shoot. That's all. No 
don't like that. Oh, okay. I think we're, we may be getting it. No? I, I still do not... There's, I cannot tell which indicator it is for whether you've still got your weapons or not. Uh, hug the outer left wall, and I lose all my health anyways. Okay. Listen, that's a fine... Oh. Whoops. <laughs> Forgot to put the score in. Whoops. <laughs> listen, that's a final boss. We gotta... We gotta... We gotta struggle for that. Yeah, if only you could look it up. It's not like the UI changes for every car, so it's not even that consistent. Alright, just again, don't lose your weapon. Oh, look, I lost my weapons already. Wow. Let, let's just run out of health. <laughs> it's not worth living. It's last chance race, let us skip to the... Uh, it... Not that it let you skip to the final boss, it lets you skip to the next level. But the next level was the final boss for me, so... And... And, and, and no, but I actually did do the final chance level, so I didn't, I didn't actually stop to do the level I failed. Yeah, no, I just literally cannot shoot. I must have stood on something right away, apparently. So which one's the icon? Like, it looked like three arrows. Ooh. That's what the, the symbol looks like. I really cannot tell when it's, like, coming up. Yeah, it looked like that. That one. See how cheeky that was positioned as well? Alright, no, no, we're making good. We're making good. Because the moment I'm getting some people, I'm not losing all my ammo. Okay, we're losing all the ammo. And we lost the guns, I think. Just, and we definitely lost the guns just then. Yep, okay. <laughs> This game ain't fair, is it? Well, it is a DOS game from the 90s. 90s game design be like... Imagine a TAS... Oh, this game would be nutty as a TAS, I'll tell ya. Alright, so if I lost my guns... The easiest way to get the guns back would be to walk over the same thing, which was there was something sort of in lane four. Like right about here. Yeah, you can see it. Oh, okay, no, the game just decided not to not to pick it up for me. It it's ah, it's it's very tough. How is it? How is it that like, you know, the tracks are all the same width and yet it's like impossible to actually line yourself up right, you know? I'm blaming the game. I'm blaming the game. I don't know. Oh, I got three laps. And I still can't shoot, so... Or well, third lap, sorry, because it's about to you know, hit the... Catching up, we're almost catching up. Hug the left side, get some ammo here. Oh, can't shoot. Ugh. Pain, it's actual pain. Because also, like, you gotta deal with one, the controls sometimes flipping, and also sometimes you're just a passenger. Like, it just sends you somewhere. Oh, and I've blown up anyways. But sometimes I'm just like, I'm going over in a weird direction. 
I wish oh, I should have like my keys like visible on screen as well. This one's a toughie to commentate over as well. I'm, I'm, I'm realizing this one. I'm like, man, you know, I am going into like silent like concentration. I'm like, what is, what is happening in the middle? <laughs> Okay, run over that in the middle. That's important. And then it flips you, but that's okay. There you go. No, no, we're good. We're good. Okay, we've got two guys. We've got two guys right off the right out of the gate. Okay, this part. Ah. Because it's got the part that takes your weapon immediately afterwards. Alright, just just get a few guys out of the way. We should be okay. Alright, just let's get past this guy. Just get him get him out of here. Get him out of here. Continue on past him, he'll disappear, he'll blow up in the background. It's just going so fast, bro. Oh, oh, I just want to be able to shoot. Alright, I'll get, I'll get a shot here and I can take him out there. I, well, I didn't run over it, I guess. Just then. Alright, one last guy, and I've still got a whole lap ahead of me, so I might just be able to overtake him if I really wanted to, but we should be good. We should be good back here. Maybe. Famous last words. Okay, no no guns for me. That's okay, that's okay. Tense moment. Oh, Oh, this happened! This happened last time! While I was testing, sometimes the game would just do this! And you'd have to sort of wing it, because sometimes the game would lag the heck out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the, the game's having a moment. The game is having a hot moment. And I am struggling to overtake this guy. So, uh... We did it! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new... <laughs> we did it! <laughs> game crack, game erroring on me? Not a problem. Tough guy, you did it. Thanks to you, criminals everywhere. Oh, uh, that was good. Have a fun train ride, blob. <laughs> Enforcer, let's check out your fabulous prize. What is you the... Have what? what is the fabulous prize, by the way? It's literally another... Another thing. Did we get car... Covers. We got covers for the car seats again. Yeah. <laughs> it's, that's what I mean. It's so anticlimactic. I really would. It's so anticlimactic. Believe me, Enforcer, you'll enjoy that prize. I did, and I should know. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? Like I always say, it only shows to go. You've been watching one of the very top uh, races in history. Yeah. And that's going Anyways, yeah, it's not, it's not that, like, tremendous of a game, but, I don't know, it's nostalgic. It's terrifying having this guy constantly talk to you. It's social interaction. How, how spooky is that? And also, yeah, I don't know. But, it's very novel. It's very just curious of a game and uh it made me hate my parents for a bit because they broke my only video game think about it, it was the only thing i had that was fun and they broke it i'll never forgive them <laughs> true i didn't finish one of the levels but also the game didn't make me finish one of the levels so blame the game on that one Still kind of, yeah, but we've driven around the track. It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> I didn't do it. 
doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Listen, if you're doing the retro achievement set, you can force people at least beat each level. You can do that. Just... I'll leave that as an exercise for the set developer. You could probably do some real gnarly achievements, like maybe like finish certain tracks in like, um, you know, only two laps, or uh, do some of them by purely outrunning your opponents. Maybe the early ones, I don't think it's ever possible on the later ones. And there's that music! This would terrify me when you- because when you try to quit the game, it runs these credits as well. Florian Desvoges, that's the guy. That's the guy. Crash Band- <laughs> it is a Crash Bandicoot font, it's a, it's a croc font. There's your Sega palettes and your 3DO, because the game was for these. Hold on, is that his real name? Christian Eriksson? Lance, your name isn't Christian Eriksson, is it? <laughs> yeah. No, the, the technology is kind of neat in the sense of what it's for. Like, it's a kind of novel use of the FMV as well, and it it flows nicely. It, you know, I'm not waiting for loading. I'm, like, the, the circuits flow nicely. I'm not seeing any weird hard cuts or whatever. And, um... The whole, like, forced perspective is a, a curious one, because it took a long time for games to really, you know, run in 3D. You'd have ones like, um, was it, uh, was it Stunt? Is that, like, one of the oldest ones that ran like that? Obviously, then, you'd have, um, Daytona, which came out in 93, which, uh, very, very cemented 3D races from the arcade level, um, and also Virtual Racer, which came a bit before. Uh, but I don't know, you had a lot of the Force Perspective ones, uh, Pole Position is a classic, um, uh, Outrun, um, Ridge Racer came out the same year, by the way, I think. Actually, was Ridge Racer in arcades earlier? But, yeah, Ridge Racer on the PlayStation came out the same year, and that was like a, oh, Ridge Racer was the year before, okay, okay. Um, yeah, there's a lot of curious racing games, it might be neat to play some a bit, because I, I don't think I've actually played that many racing games on stream. Like, let me just double check as well. Uh, do, 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 do. And now, VWBT is proud to present the show that's <laughs> Murder or Race. There we go. Um, but yeah, just checking. I think the only one that I've played is the one stream of Vanishing Point. And here's your mega host. Lance oh, and I did Cruising USA. I did Cruising USA. Hey, welcome to yeah, man, you know, like... Oh, and Char-Q, I guess. char <laughs> Cannot forget char Hi, um, But, uh, yeah, no, that's kind of Mega Race. I don't think there's anything too much more to show. Um, and glad that we did it on hard to at least, like, show that there was an ending to this game. Um, but yeah, no, I've really not got too much other than, yeah, the Intel processors, uh, they're sort of mid, and given that the Ryzen processors were, like, at least those were a little better at games. So you'd probably recommend those when the price comes down a bit, but for the Intel stuff, since the last gen is certainly better in games, and I'm hoping that the whole problem with the voltage degradation has been patched out. Um, I don't think it's that bad to say just buy an older Intel processor or save up and go for a 58 or a 7800X3D or a potential 9800X3D from AMD. Uh, that's kind of, uh, some people are saying it's soon, some people are saying it's literally next month, November, it's the end of the month already, so... Um, but ultimately, there are some games where you see a benchmark, and despite the 285K being slower in most, like, tests, you run a game at 4K, and it performs the same as every other processor. It's, like, it's not actually the end of the world. It's a bit slower, but it's not, like, so dramatically slower that your games are now terrible. It's just, oh, man, it, I wish it wasn't the bottleneck. Um, so I'd probably say, yeah, if you need the productivity and it comes down in price, it actually might be okay. Maybe. But probably just for servers. And you should probably just consider your 3DV cache processors if you don't care about anything other than games. Um, 
which signifies things yeah, like pretty much. speeding up, uh, and slowing up, and maybe or just save your money for a good graphics card because that's probably where most of your games you games are going to be. Or play games like this. <laughs> you don't need that much of a computer to run it these days. It still stutters. It still runs a little weird. You had that one bug, and I really can't explain why that bug happens, where all the UI garbles. If you do it in a certain way, it sometimes uh, crashes. Like it properly, like just freezes, or it goes so sluggish, and it does it on any track. I cannot explain it, but oh well. So, but yeah, no. Give this game a a, a curiosity check. Is probably how I'd describe it. And uh, don't let Lance Boyle uh, flood your dreams. He's everywhere. The curiosity out of 10. That's what I've been doing. Uh, oh, uh, shout out, by the way. I have a backlogged account, and sometimes backlogged to the website. I like it. I'm not backing the site, but sometimes the site goes down, and I don't really like it. But I've been literally doing a review of every game I've played since April um, as I play them on that site. Uh, some of them are really short, some of them are really long. I played through Man of Medan yesterday with a mate, because we keep memeing about Man of Medan, because it's like, digitized actors always seems very interesting and novel to my mate. And we played it and we were like, man, this wasn't, this wasn't very exciting. Dan of the Man. Yeah, it was very, it was very, like, okay the tech was neat uh, similar to this game basically the tech was neat but there wasn't like there wasn't much substance and definitely as a spooky experience it's like we got to the end and we were like what was the actual horror was it just jump scare was it just jump scare and the potential of people dying like that's not really horror that's just you know like you could literally have characters like regret their decisions or turn against each other stuff like that but like none of that ever happens they're mates the whole way through they know they're mates so i don't know uh they, i will say that there was a decent amount of options available not enough to make it feel like i'd want to replay the game but enough to go hey like you know, like, people could end up with a fairly different outcome of this game. Um, for example, there's a point early on in the game when the threat first shows, and you can actually get one of the characters it's, to, like, uh, hightail it I and just really get out of, get the heck out of Dodge. There's and there's a potential for that character to die in the process of that happening, or he could just literally be gone. But um, he's then gone from the rest of the game, and therefore there's a sequence where... You know, it should just be him and he's not there and there's other characters who will decide to go on the, uh, certain escapades without him and so on. That's that's neat and fun. And generally, like, I, I like how keeping the concept simple allows for... Um, I might as well just exit the game and we'll sit on the DOS screen for a bit because otherwise Lance Boyle is going to be shouting at me. There he goes. Can't take the heat, huh? Listen, you try to quit this game, you still get chastised. Oh, that's them! That's them! That's them! Makers of Bleed, the candy bar poor folks love to be a part of. Tune in next time to wow. the race, when we'll have a real enforcer to admire. I'm Lance Boyle, and you'd be too if you were me. Oh, the music didn't kick in. Okay, cool. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah, no, it wasn't. It wasn't the most interesting kind of game. But uh, yeah, no, I'll, I'll plug my backlogs. I write reviews on there. Uh, yes, they made until dawn. I have not played any other of the games. I know Man of Medan is the worst received out of all of them. Uh, their other anthology games are slightly better received, and also The Quarry is a full price game they released. I do own. <laughs> Various other of the anthology ones. Um, oh, did they not release one? Oh, wait, hurry. Did they not do the quarry? Was that not them? No, I swear they did the quarry. Yeah, 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 they did the quarry. Oh, the devil and me. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry, no, it's all good. Yeah, okay, all right. Fortunately, that's the one I don't own. I was under the impression that their anthology was going to be six games. I thought they announced six. Um, 
or was it every yeah five trademarks six potential future they committed to only four they ended up just making only four which i still think is like that's a decent run and especially during the the covid period getting that working um but yeah they have a new game called directive uh 80 20 which is coming out in 2025 and that marks the the second season of their endeavor um but yeah, no, I mean, there's some there's some okay things uh, in it, but I don't know. It's not a hugely... Uh, it didn't shout out at me as a game. And uh, it wasn't tons engaging. It was okay with a mate. So grab a mate. Grab it on sale, I guess. I got it on a Humble Monthly. They're making Little Nightmares 3. I heard okay things about Little Mo Nightmares 2, which I guess they developed... Isn't that curious? Enhanced edition, not on PC. Actually, that's okay. Did they do the other ones, actually? Or are they just credited for... Who knows? They didn't... Yeah, okay, they're just credited for... Yeah, why are they just credited for one? Curious. But, uh... Was it Tarsia Studios? Uh... Did DLC for Little Big Planet One and Two, and so did Supermassive. So I assume maybe it's the same kind of cloth. Maybe it's a Insomniac and Naughty Dog scenario, like they're right next to each other, and it's just different studios in the same building. Because that's the thing. Sometimes they actually name, um, like different teams as different studios, just to make it like quite clear a distinction. Um, also, what a shame! Bought out, bought out by another bigger company. Not um. Not super massive, I think. The oh no, they are Nordisk Film. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll see where that goes, but oh well. So, anyways, I think that's it. We're sitting on the DOS screen for a bit, so I'd like to thank you so very very much for watching yeah if you enjoyed this or you didn't enjoy this um doesn't matter uh, you can follow on twitch or i'll stream a game at 8 30 p.m australian eastern daylight time every monday and it's not halloween so that means we can actually do a not halloween game uh when tasia were bought they lost access to the little nightmares franchise oh that's interesting that's interesting Jeez, yeah um and yeah if you missed part of this uh, the bots on youtube you can see the vod uh, where you will appreciate Lance Boyle and all of his uh, slightly more crisp quality. Um, and yeah, you can follow me on the Fediverse, m.bandad.com, and uh, I plugged my backlog, which I, I mentioned, it's not a big one, but that's yeah, alright. Lance Boyle, I got Lance Boiled. <laughs> Lance Boiled alive, there we go. Will I play Mega Race 2? I do not know, but I didn't grow up at all with Mega Race 2 or 3, so <laughs> I've, I've got zero affiliation with those, but we'll see, we'll see. I have actually played through uh, Mega Race 2, so I actually do know what's in it, but yeah, nah, so. Anyways, yeah, have a good one, peace, enjoy your Halloween, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Give me a Lance Boyle quote, uh, don't die. Just kidding. I don't know. Is that what he sounds like? I don't know. <laughs> See ya.